Alrighty guys, today's episode, I'm going to show you what I've done to the bike. Okay, so the inspiration for my build is actually uh, the CB1 Honda Super 4. Because I really wanted that bike, and I wanted to buy one, but then I opted not to because I think I'm going to die if I start out with a 400cc uh, four-cylinder bike. That might be too much, so I talked myself out of it, and here we are with a 150cc one-cylinder motorcycle. So having said that, the design cues that I went for uh, closely resemble the CB1. See the big-ass side mirrors? In Lazada, they were marketed as uh, CB1 uh, side mirrors, so I went for that. But uh, they look kind of big. Uh, you guys will see later when I show you a third-person view of the bike. Nah, it's not exactly super bad guy, but whatever. Because I do get to see a lot behind me thanks to these uh, side mirrors. So I'll keep that for now. I don't want to spend for side mirrors again. So bagay o hindi, it works. So I'll keep it. As for the handlebars, uh, I didn't really like the chrome handlebar. And I was looking for a stock one, but then I noticed that the CB1 had clip-on handlebars and I told myself, hey, why not try clip-on? So I went for that. I wanted black clip-ons, but they didn't have available. They only had the red one, so no choice, I got the red one. As you guys can see, I have small hands because I'm not a big guy. Because of that, I had a hard time actuating the stock levers. levers of the CB150 so I was looking for aftermarket adjustable levers for the CB150 but all I could find are levers for the CBR150 and I didn't know if that was compatible with the CB150 but as I was looking around I did find these universal thingies they're like the whole assembly it comes with the brake master and the whole clutch adjuster assembler thing if you can see there so I opted to go for this one since it's more universal Again, I wanted black for it, but it didn't have stock, so I went with the red one. At least the levers are black. Shout out to Zero One Moto. I got this from them. Really good customer service. Uh, they even delivered it to my house in Cubao, so uh, and there was no delivery charge, so that was nice. That was really nice of them. Thank you, Zero One Moto. My friends told me get a crash bar because it will be inevitable that you're gonna crash the bike. So at least to protect the bike or to protect the bike as best we could get a crash bar so I got a crash bar and there it is the rest of the mods are aesthetic so we can't see them right now but uh, we're heading to the pop-up Katipunan it's over there it has a nice big parking lot where we can just park in the middle and maybe shoot some video hopefully I can get some cinematic shots of the bike to show you guys what I've done Okay. Watch your exit. A flat rate kasi. Okay. And here we are at the pop-up Katipunan. Alright. Let's go to the usual spot where car people take pictures of their cars and let's take a picture of the bike. Or rather a video of the bike. Well we can also practice some slow speed maneuvers. Oh that's nice. Speed maneuvers. Come on, low speed maneuvers. Oh yes, without putting my foot down. Oh yeah, that's good. Okay, stretch it to the right without putting my foot down. Come on, come on, Albert. Do it, there's no cars. Other side, no, other side, other side, other side, come on. Don't put your foot down, don't put your foot down. All right. We're doing it. Sort of doing it. Oh look, super advanced. <laughs> well, quote unquote, super advanced. Alright, so before I show you guys the external aesthetic of the bike, let's go review the old one. Give me reasons to doubt, try to keep me down, but I'll put the flame out, you can't get to me. Throw your sticks and your stones Go break all of my bones You won't ache my soul You can't get to me And there is no barricade That I can tear away Shoot me down to fire away, away But I'm a heavyweight I'm a heavyweight I'm a heavyweight And 
Here she is now. Okay, so as I've mentioned, I have a crash bar, it's red. I got a single headlight, it's LED, round. Again, my inspiration was the CB1. And we have the signal lights. And at the back, this is just really my, my fancy, you know. I didn't really think about it, I saw it, I kind of liked it, I bought it online. Here are the taillights. And I turned it on. Pew. There it is. Also, the headlights have a daylight running ring. That's pretty cool. And I also got these uh, LED bars. And they're not pointing forward. They're actually pointing down to the side. So what I wanted to do with this was so that there's going to be a light spread on the side. So at night, the bike will appear bigger since the surroundings are lit up more. Hopefully, people don't get get me. I also upgraded the horn. <coughs> So that people will be more alarmed when they horn them with my horniness. And I also took out the flaring in the front. So, you know, the CB1, right? There's like a tack here long and then it's a naked bike. So, going on that, I took out the flaring here. Now, plans for the future, maybe I might actually go back to stock handlebars because this is kind of breaking my wrists already. So, maybe I'd go for a the, the stock one for the long drives and this is it for the Birdo Ventures CB150R version 1 of course it won't stay this way I mean look at this the wiring's all exposed it's not really that boggy so I might have a cover made but not now I'll go find some more money first I'm out of money so this is version 1 and this is all it's gonna get for now for now so instead of doing mods, I will just now focus on riding the damn thing and enjoying riding motorcycles. And that ends today's episode. Don't forget to like and subscribe. If you're bored, you're waiting for new videos, go watch our old videos. This is Albert from Albert Rides Bird Adventures. See you guys in the next video.